What's up guys? So I'm doing this review on Apocalypse, Marvel Legends figure. Um, this is a figure that I'm really excited to show off. I've had this guy for years. Uh, full disclosure, he's not complete. He is missing his shoulder pads. He came with two shoulder pads that were sticking out there. Um, I believe I, I took them off when I was younger just because they got in the way of his, of his arms. Uh, so his arms couldn't do, couldn't fully rotate all the way up. So I did take them off when I was younger. Uh, wish I wouldn't have. Um, also he came with, there were some tentacles that went from there to there. That stuck out and like looped back into his lower back from his arms. These are the two pieces that would, would make him 100% complete. So overall he's in good condition. I want to just show him off in comparison to some other figures. For once again, for anyone that knows anything about the Marvel Legends figures, they are all proportionate to each other. Uh, except for with Apocalypse, his height and weight varies. So, actually, like literally on the back of his box, I believe it said his weight and height varies. So, not sure what height and what weight he they they built this toy to scale with. But just to give you a perspective, I'm gonna show them off compared to some other figures. I believe Juggernaut is around six foot ten. Not sure exactly his weight dimensions offhand. So with a comparison and height, let's see, stand them back to back or front to back. That makes more sense. Uh, I see Juggernaut has him a little bit. We'll take his hat off or helmet. I mean, shoulder to shoulder, Apocalypse is definitely a little bit shorter, but not by much. Put him like that. So, you know, probably, his toy is probably around, uh, say, six foot six. I'm gonna compare him to Venom. Except for Venom is a little bit hunched back in this position, so I'm just compare him. So they're similar in, in size. Overall, I'm gonna show off a little bit of some of his cool features, his belt. It has the A for Apocalypse. Overall, this is a really well-built toy. He's actually pretty hefty when you hold him. He's pretty hefty. His fingers do articulate. Uh, his thumb, his index finger, and then the rest of the three fingers, they all move together on both hands. So you can pose him in any way that you choose like that. He has all the major points of articulation with his arm, uh, his wrist, his elbow his head moves um, even his chest flexes ever so slightly that flexes um, his legs aren't that art articulate honestly uh, they do move a little bit up and down but it's kind of restricted because of uh, his design it's like a ball and his leg is like connected to it so his thigh is connected to it so it's kind of rubbing up against this part so his legs you know they're a little bit restricted they don't think his arms are really the part that you want to move and to be able to pose so his arms they, they do move out this is about the extent of how far out they move and then they go up and down all the way completely definitely looks really really sharp and really really nice so that's some pretty cool things thanks a lot guys for watching this video if you like this video please give me a like check out some of the other videos that i did i'm doing a ton of marvel legends figures uh and all their reviews so check out some of those other videos i also do a lot of videos on cars motorcycles blogs and a whole bunch of other stuff so if you like this video check out my channel see some of the other stuff that i'm doing but thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya